My name is Madeline Hanks, and today I am going to be discussing mitosis and its functions. What is mitosis? So the definition of mitosis was a type of cell division that results in two daughter cells, each having the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent nucleus. I thought this was kind of confusing, so I broke it down and made it a bit more simple and easier to understand, and this is the cloning of cells. Our cells can clone themselves. In fact, they are doing it right now. Now this process has a name. It is called mitosis. Mitosis is very important because it allows organisms to develop and grow. One example of mitosis is it can heal. If you get a cut, your body needs new cells, and these cells come from mitosis, or the cloning of cells. Another example of mitosis is cancer. Cancer is caused by too much mitosis, or these cells cloning themselves, and it's just out of control. One more example is growth. In order for a baby to grow, it needs mitosis. So now that we have established what mitosis is, we are going to break it down into the specific steps of mitosis. Interphase. For most of their lives, cells, <laughs> cells are in the stage called interphase. In this stage, they are mostly growing. During interphase, strands of DNA are messy and loose, loosely coiled. While these strands of DNA are actually chromatin, as the process of mitosis begins getting closer and closer, the cells begin frantically preparing themselves for the division of the cell. One of the things that happens is that all of the DNA replicates themselves so that the cell has two copies of every strand of DNA. The duplicates, or copies, are called sister chromatids. After all these preparations, the phase called prophase begins. In this phase, the chromatin condenses and coils up to produce, produce strands of DNA that are wrapped around proteins. These are the chromosomes. The sister chromatids that were made before, in interphase, are attached to each other and have the shape of more or less little X's. One sister chromatid makes up the left side of the X, and the other sister chromatid makes up the right side of the X. The part where the sister chromatids meet in the middle is called the centromere. Also during this phase, the nuclear envelope breaks down, and the centrioles near the nucleus starts to separate and move to opposite sides of the cell. As the centrioles separate, a spindle starts to form between them. And just to be clear, spindles are fibers that are made out of microtubules. Now on to the next phase, metaphase. During metaphase, spindle fibers attach to the centromere, which is the center of the X, of each pair of sister chromatids. Then, the sister chromatids line up at the equator, or the middle of the cell. The spindle fibers ensure that the sister chromatids will separate and go to different daughter cells when the cell divides. So, just to explain this a bit more, the sister chromatids line up in the middle of the cell, and the spindles from one side of the cell attaches to one sister chromatid, and the, the spindles from the other side of the spell, <laughs> sorry, cell attaches to the other sister chromatid. Anaphase. During anaphase, the sister chromatids separate and the centromeres divide. The sister chromatids are pulled apart by the shortening of the spindle fibers. We remember that in metaphase, the spindle fibers were connected to one of the sister chromatids. One sister chromatid moves to one side of the cell, and the other sister chromatid moves to the opposite side of the cell. At the end of anaphase, each half of the cell has a complete set of chromosomes. Chromosomes break at centromeres, and the sister chromatids move to the opposite side of the cell. So that's basically just what happens in anaphase. The chromosomes break at the centromeres, and the sister chromatids move to the opposite sides of the cell. Telophase. During telophase, the cell structure is reconstructed, and the cell prepares to repeat its cycle. The chromosomes begin to uncoil and form chromatin. The spindle is no longer needed and breaks down, and a, nuclear, a new nuclear membrane forms. Remember, in the past, I think it was interphase or maybe prophase, the nuclear membrane breaks down. 
And finally, cytokinesis. It's pretty simple, as you can see with the diagram and the words on the slide. The cytoplasm splits in two and the cell divides, which creates two different cells from one cell. That is mitosis, and those were the steps of mitosis. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Here are the citations. Thank you so much for watching this. I will see you guys later.